This is Jeff Jennings with Ben Modular. In this video, we're going to cover the steps required to convert a Revit out of the box family into uniform units of measure uh, for lookup tables. So how we're gonna do is start off here with opening up the family. And we're gonna go, this is the out of the box directory. And we'll go ahead and pick in this case here, let's go to our pipe. We'll go to our fittings, we'll go to carbon steel, class 150, flanged, and let's grab this elbow long radius. Can you pick anything that has a lookup table? Uh, let's go ahead and click and open that. When you open it out of the box family, it's gonna give you a warning uh, because this is a Revit created family. It's got right protection. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, do is the open the file, open the file command, then file and then save as family. And we're now going to save it into our local network. So now it's uh, the network or local uh, hard drive. Press save, and now that family has been saved to our system, and we can start modifying it. So to start, what we're gonna do is look at the um, family properties, and you'll see here we have a bunch of lookup table references in place. The way reference table this is gonna look is, it's number one, it has a lookup table it's looking at. So here's the lookup table parameter. Here's the name of the file that we're about to export. And so it's gonna look at that file. It's going to look at this column in the file, and it's going to provide that value. If it doesn't find that value, it's going to go ahead and create a uh, default value that's based upon, in this case, a calculation of nominal dimension times these measurements plus that to measurement. Uh, and it's going to be looking up the information for the nominal diameter. So the nominal diameter right here is one inch. So basically, all of these values are all going to be generated off of the nominal diameter of this uh, particular family uh, when it connects to another pipe. So let's go ahead and look at the condition. This is the lookup table we have. Let's export it. And as you open up the location, we save the family. Go ahead and press save. Done. And okay. So now if I go into family type manager, we're going to go ahead and import in that lookup table. Here's the file we just exported. You'll see here, we have one value for inches. The rest of these are also in, are all in millimeters. So we wanna have uniform unit of measures. So let's go ahead and press OK. It's now going to read the file, duplicate the information, and load it into Family Type Manager. This means you will still work in your Revit uh, models and your files independent of uh, data um, modifications. Uh, because this is actually not the lookup table, this is a copy of the lookup table being loaded into the system. So now what we're going to do is we're going to convert this data from here to here uh, from millimeters into decimal inches. So to do that, we're just going to grab, let's grab five, five at a time, and let's grab the headers two here. Let's go ahead and copy that information. We'll go to our unit measure converter, and let's go ahead and actually just paste this information here of values, and we're going to now convert. So we're going to do distance. Uh, you have a choice here. We're going to do metric to imperial. We're going to now pick from me, uh, the metric values, millimeter. We're going to pick inches. I'm gonna set up a value of three decimal inches in here. And now we can go ahead and bulk assign these values across. So now here's our metric millimeters to our imperial inches. So let's copy all these columns. Let's go and pick our lookup table. Let's go and paste this information right here. Click OK. Do you want the headers? No, we don't need them in this case. That's transferred and done. Let's grab this last column of data we have right here. So let's copy that one. Let's go back into our unit measure converter. Let's go ahead and set this up right here. Let's paste that data. And we'll go ahead and just update that one as well. And we'll just go and pick this one column. Come back to our lookup table, paste it, click OK. Uh, no headers and done. So we now have converted all of our information from millimeters into met, uh, imperial inches. We need to modify now the headers. So to do that, let's go and pick our find and replace. Um, let's go ahead and type in, also paint, copy this information, but let's do millimeters. Let's look at our table header, apply it, that's done. And here are all of the values we have that are millimeters. So let's go ahead and just check those. Let's go ahead and replace them. And we're going to now grab millimeters, paste that, type in inches. And now we have a preview of what it's gonna be looking like and we place those values, click OK. Now everything's been set up here to be now imperial inches. So we're done with the entire conversion. So we go back and export the information. We can export this file. 
It's an ask if you want to do a backup. So we set up here for backups. Yes, we do. Um, with there's no backup existing, you want to create the folder. Yes, we do. This can be any language you want. Uh, backups and created. Click OK. All finished. And now we're going to export over a file. Yes, we do. That's done. So we now completed the process and we've created, if I open this up, fittings, you'll now see a new backup folder. This is the new file that's been overwritten. This is the backup folder we just created and our original files right here with the timestamping of when the process happened by day and by uh, minute and hour of local settings. So we'll go and close it on out. That's done. And all you do is come back in here to reload the lookup table so that our family is now all fully set up here for a, a, an imperial interest basis. Yes, overwrite, done, and done. So at this point here, we are finished. We press save, save, and save. A final step to check in your out-of-the-box families is to make sure that they are fully set for um, the uh, unit of measures you want in your country uh, for how you're using the product. So you can do is go in here to manage tab and go into your project units. And in here, you have the ability to uh, modify. So let's go into our structural. Let's go into our measurements here. So let's look at our section dimensions. And in this case here, everything is set up here in foot and inches. Uh, you can convert that if you want to, just to be say inches only um, or fractional inches. So let's set up right here like this and apply. So now we know when we look at our data, it's always in decimal inches. Uh, that can be applied to section properties and anything else you have in your family. Apply that so we can go back and look at your family itself. It will always show the unit of measures that you have assigned. Um, so again, if you get a family that has uh, metric information in there, you want to convert that, do it right here. And we now have a out of the box family that's been converted to being uniform imperial measurements. Thank you for watching.